Hey, good morning, investors. Welcome to Cam's uh, chart of the day. And um, so today we're going to be talking about um, some of the companies that are in the race for the vaccination. So here we got uh, AbbVie, Gilead, Pfizer, GlaxoSmithKline, J&J, &J, AstraZeneca, Novartis, and I put the S&P 500. So our year-to-date chart is showing three companies have outperformed the S&P 500, and that's Gilead, AbbVie, and um, you're looking at AstraZeneca. And one's in line, and the other uh, several have underperformed. So, uh, how has this biotech been playing out over time? And um, if we really have to start looking at some longer time frames, biotech has considerably underperformed the S&P. So here's the S&P on a five-year chart that has returned 55%, and the only company in the mix, AstraZeneca, is outperforming the S&P 500 with every other biotech company below that and Gilead showing a considerable decline. And if we push it out 10 years, the um, chart doesn't look any better, okay? But really what we're interested in is what the market thinks year to date and how um, we feel that the, the trials are going. And so since the um, coronavirus has taken place and since March, we're looking at um, here the S&P 500 at the lows is up 15%. Well, you have two winners here, AstraZeneca and AbbVie are leading the charge. But um, here's some other biotech companies that um, found have done quite well and um, the market seems to think that they are in the running for a potential vaccination. So here, when we look at it, we add uh, Emergent. So you had the um, S&P 500 is down at 15%. Emergent's up now 54%. BioNTech up 76%. And if we add Moderna in there, which is what most people think are the lead is the lead category for creating a vaccination, this is up 133% in the last three months and year to date up 279%. So uh, these three last companies are really kind of leading the charge in the vaccination. And if you really want to follow whether you think that we're coming along in the right direction, probably be watching these three um, as opposed to possibly all the rest. Okay, thanks to Stuart Cruz for your video chart of the day.